Hi, my name's Nino. Actually, it's Nina. Did you just correct my name? How dare you? Yeah, I did, because you said it wrong. You win this time, but don't expect to come out on top next we meet. It's Flowey in myriad form. What? What? What's going on? What am I hitting? No, it's Sans. I can't believe it. Oops. Oops. Thus far, this is not being as bad as the other boss. Thus far, that could certainly go wrong anytime. Yeah, stop it. Ow. Oh, wait, why do I take so much damage from? I didn't think I was getting hit. I must have gotten hit by something. What did I get hit by? I have no idea. <laughs> no, jeez! For some reason, I didn't expect more than one. <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Marion, what the hell are you? Ah, cheat! No! What is going on? Oh, it's a self-destruct bot. Why'd you make a bot that just blows up? That's kind of screwed up. And again, you make bots just to be destroyed, so I guess that's not really much of a change. Yeesh! Yes. Good grief, no! Stop! Yes. Grapes! Yes. Its attacks have become so, so, so destructive, it's just hurting itself trying to hurt me. And it doesn't care. Yeah, it's gone nuts. Jeez. It's out of control! Okay. I get it, you're upset, Mary, but come on! This isn't how you resolve your problems! Whoa, jeez. Enough! Uh, oh. What? 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 Hey! How's it I didn't die against this boss once, but I died against the other boss like three times? What? What is this? 
Go ahead. Try to escape. I can't! I... I can't. That's right. There's nothing you can do now. Nothing you can do. While I torture you! Well, that's just kind of messed up, man. Oh! One quick thing first. Is that... Potley! This place is pretty crazy, am I right? Nina! You're safe! Well... Nothing can hurt you when you're a hunk of metal trapped in this cage! Right. Oh boy. Botley, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. I really thought we could be free. Nina. It's fine. For a bit, we were free. You're right. I'll cherish those moments. Thank you, Botley. I'm glad you are both reacquainted. And now, Nina. You may watch as your precious friend, Botley, will be buried alive and will slowly corrode, losing his faculties over the course of decades, completely and entirely alone. He won't be alone. What? Oh! What? Escape. Oh, oh, we're both, oh, let's do this. Oh, no, but I, ah! Okay, I think I get it. Oh man, trippy. They keep switching back between A and... Ah, it's throwing me off. Ah, crap, I pushed the wrong button. Maximum damage there. Yeah, you can't have to keep switching back between A and B and the... No! Oh, I'm getting smacked around! You thought you had me, but you were wrong! You had nothing! Take this! <laughs> Woo! Sorry. I like destroying things a little too much. Of course, there's a good chance we just killed ourselves. Because we just kind of blew up everything. Wait, how'd you get... Botley, look! We're back in the forest! Um, oh, there I am. Man, if I could just have dealt with that second boss who's stupid and annoying without dying, I could have beaten the game in run go without any deaths. Stupid second boss. Huh. I think it seemed like the ending was going to do something a little bit crazier. Looks like the path ends here. Hasn't stopped us before. Hey, you're right. Shouldn't we take a break, though? A lot of crazy just happened. I crave adventure. And you can't have more adventures when you're staying still. Let's go. Oh, okay. Huh, I thought there'd be more dialogue. Wait, that's it? I mean, I, I was getting kind of emotionally stirred when I was like, oh no, he's gonna be all alone. But, I expect- They didn't say wait until after the credits. People were saying that the ending's really good, so I'm hoping- I mean, I'm not disliking it, but it hasn't, like, 
Ooh, you know, hit me in the gut with something incredible. Game design. Than more? I'm going to reverse that. More than, more than. Daniel Sousa Diaz, Jeremiah Taylor, Jeremy Karam, Kieran Grant, Jeremy Karam, John Vander Baron, Marty Blutcher Martin, Blutcher Martin, mm -hmm. Johan Manzano, Ju Hyun, Ben Kupka, Brandon Godfrey, Brandon Scriver, Brett Hill, Brianna McAlden, Cameron Noble, Cameron Rowan, Chris Kennedy, Cornelius, Daniel Hess, Daniel Susadias, Daniel Turney, Daniel Dobos, David Rye, Dominica Marchese, Duncan Heaney, Even Peach, uh, Jeremiah Taylor, Jeremy Karam, Joe Banning, Joe Van and Barron, Jonathan Moto, Josh Martin, Kieran Grant, Matt Given, Nick Mercer, Nick Short, Richard Therian, Riley Johnston, Sam Vander Barron, Sarah Phillips, Sarah Solomon, Scott Roberts, Stephen Kirkus, Stephen Brundage, Tristan Keller, Veronica Norton, Willow Huff. I'm not saying all that. <laughs> I can't. A lot of free sounds. Free sound. Free sound. Oh, yeah. This game is dedicated to Emily and Helen Mykos. Is that like a comma? Emily and Helen Mykos? Oh, okay. And instead of me, that. <laughs> Stream live September 5th, 2020. Oh, you know. You know? Oh, tell me. I learned a lot making this. Oh, jeez. It was one of the biggest journeys I've ever taken. I still have so much to learn, and that scared me out. But now I'm excited to see what comes. It is all thanks to you. Yes, you, Emily. If it wasn't for you, this game would have never happened. Which is kind of ironic, because this game was made for you in the first place. You're my constant motivator. Every day, you inspire me to be my absolute best. You've not only taught me to recognize my successes, but also to both accept and learn from my failures. You're strong, passionate, kind-hearted, loving, all-around fantastic. I love you, Emily. And so, to end this journey making Nina, I think it would be best to start a new one right off the bat. Our journey together. <sighs> Emily, more than anything, I'd love to forever be by your side. And for that, there's this one question I ask you. <laughs> I gotta pop the question. Pop the question? Oh, oh brother. Yeah. Emily, Emily, That's why the achievement's called Game of Wife. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cheese! Grain the cheese! Oh my gosh, this is so cheesy. I mean, I'm sorry, but... This feels really intrusive. I'm just playing a game. I'm playing as a bot named Botley. He was unsatisfied with working in a factory and everything goes to hell. And then, hey guys, want to check out my uh, wedding proposal? You don't know who we are, but gonna shove it in your face. I'm sorry, you could have just put that in the game, showed it to her, and then when you actually launched it, taken it out. I didn't need to see that. I didn't want to see that. And I know, people are probably like, Fruit Noggy, what the hell's wrong with you? That's so romantic, and oh, isn't that cute and sweet and precious? And it's like, I don't know who these people are! It's kind of creepy, I think. It's like, really? That was the oh so beautiful ending of the game. It's like, no. <laughs> I mean, if anything... Because <sighs> if you take it based on what happens in the game, it's like... They have the on-screen presence of about three minutes together? Ah. 
I know, I mean... I mean, Bartley, I hate fun. I hate romance, but... Really? Oh... I don't know. I, I mean, I know people are just thinking, it's just me. I'm just the worst. I'm the worst kind of person. I, you know, I just can't have fun, but I just want to play a game. Like, I understand that when you're a creative person, when you put so much of yourself into any medium, there is a sense that you are, it's not just investment. Like, part of you gets into it. And I think... Mm, it depends. It can be argued. Like, if you're an actor, and you're really caught up in a role, and you're um, playing your part, after a while, you start to kind of become that person. I can't think of his name, but the person who plays Iron Man. You know, many people would say that he's just really embodied that role. He's Iron Man. Nobody else can be Iron Man. So acting is one of those big ones where you really become invested into it. It takes on a life of its own. When you're writing and you create these characters, they take on more life than just text on a page. They become people. And that's kind of it. They become people. They, you care about their struggles, their hardships, you want them to succeed. And depending on what you're writing, you might put some of yourself in there. You might put yourself into the part of the protagonist or the antagonist. You know, that might happen. And there's a line where, you know, somebody can read your book or whatever kind of fiction you're writing. And it's like, oh, you can tell this is just a power chip for the author. I've heard that happens a lot with like D&D, &D, where people, maybe like the DM, uh, creates a little fantasy world of overpowered characters, and then they are basically forcing their players to be a, uh, a small motley cast, side cast to the cool stuff their main people are doing. And that's what it felt like here, is that here I am playing a game, playing as Botley, and it's like, oh, it's kind of cute, and this is what's going on. And then all of a sudden, this guy who made this game, it's like, I'm going to propose to my wife. It's going in the game. For, I mean, yes, I get it. Like I said, I think it would have made sense to do that. You know, like, here, let me show you the full game, and here's how it ends. Let me play through the game, and you can kind of give me your thoughts. And it's like, oh, I surprised her with the proposal. But then take it all out, because that doesn't need to go into your proper game. But it's like, nah, I'm going to shove myself in, and though this has absolutely nothing to do with the game, now everybody who plays through it all gets to see our little proposal. I mean, this is such a modern-day issue. And again, first-world problem is not a real problem, but it's like... Gosh, get over yourselves. I'm so sick of the social media bullcrap where it's like, here's my life on display. See what happened last week when I went out to the club? Wacky. I mean, it's like, I don't care. I don't know who the hell you people are. And it's like, I didn't want any of that. So for people to be like, oh, the ending was so special. Like, oh, that's... This is what you meant? Ugh. What a bunch of crap. We. Oh, now it's Anne. Jeez. Well, soon it'll be your guys' anniversary. I, I was about to say something really mean. I'm not even going to say that. We're just going to leave it alone. I can be really nasty sometimes. <whistles> anyway, um... <sighs> the game was okay, but... And I know, 
this really must be weird to people that I would really be that soured and turned off by that, but I really am. It's like, ah, oh, there goes the spoiled milk. <sighs> Seriously, stop putting this crap. I, I mean, I, I say that as if this happens all the time, but <sighs> good lord, people. Well, hopefully this game doesn't sell very many copies, so that way less people have to put up with this crap. That's all I can say. <laughs> I just want to play a game I like without something ruining it. Jeez, what the hell's been going on lately? <sighs> so anyways... I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play, folks. I hope you don't get too upset by my commentary there, where it's like, Furundagi, I hate you. And it's like, okay. I mean, whatever. It won't be the first time. But anyways, I'll see you around later, folks. And as always, Furundagi. Hi, I'm Nina. Hi, I'm Nina. Hi, I'm Nina. Hi, I'm Nina. He's acting pretty weird. What's going on with that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's possessed. After all, his name's not Nina, it's Nino. Dun, dun, dun!